Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In April 2021, the Indian Ministry of Defense had issued an official RFI for the phased purchase of next generation 350 light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The combat weight of tank, that is the weight of fully loaded tank should not exceed 25 tons. The light tank should have modular and upgradable main gun secondary armament for anti-air and ground roles with different caliber and assisted via remote weapon station. It should be able to fire modern advanced multi-purpose smart munitions with gun tube launched anti-tank guided missile. The tank should be able to defeat tanks a vehicles, UAVs, and soft skinned vehicles and PGMs. It should have a stenag level protection from all sides, including top. It must have explosive reactive armor, soft kill measures, CBRN protection, and instant fire detection and suppression system. The tank should be able to operate in all terrain and weather conditions. The requirement is really very exhaustive and if any one tank fulfills this requirement, it will be truly a next generation light tank. As per the latest update, South Korean Hanwha Defense has now offered its K21-105 medium tank with a 105mm turret mounted on a proven chassis of K21 infantry fighting vehicle which can fire all NATO standard ammunition. The 105mm turret can achieve more than 42 degree of elevation which will be critical in mountainous warfare. It can also fire at minus 10 degrees of depression angle. It also has an auxiliary 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It is also equipped with smoke grenade launcher, laser warning system, CBRN protection and instant fire detection and suppression system. It offers high accuracy, fully stabilized computerized day and night fire control system. Company is ready to add any other measures as requested by Army. The key feature of tank is advanced lightweight design delivering high tactical and strategic mobility. It has combat weight of 25 tons with maximum speed of 70 km per hour and cruising speed of 450 km. The key to note here is that tank fits well within 25 ton weight requirement of army. The tank will feature active and passive kill feature as per army's requirement. Overall, if we analyze the offering by South Korean company, it is using proven platform and matching most of the requirements of RFI. LNT has already manufactured K9 Vajra, which is also based on South Korean K9 Thunder and has been quite a success. The other options for Indian Army is Sprout STM1 and DRDO's light tank. The Sprout STM1 is 18 ton tank, which comes with a 125mm 2A75 cannon that can fire guided missiles and a remote control weapon station with 7.62mm machine gun. The tank was under trial and last year Indian Army was supposed to evaluate it but there is no further update on it. We have already reported some time back that DRDO's CBRDE and LNT has also started working on the light tank. It will use the 105mm gun on the chases of NG MBT next generation main battle tank. The tank is expected to have weight of 35 ton. However, the challenge would be to meet the 25 ton combat weight limit as per RFI guideline, which seems to be challenging considering the chases of NG MBT. The first prototype of this tank is expected to come out between 2023 to 2024, followed by its trial. The production of tank may start by 2027. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. 
we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.